Welcome, you're watching BBC News. I'm Kasia Madeira. Our main headlines. Prince William, the heir to the British throne, has told well-wishers at Sandringham just how difficult it was to walk behind his grandmother's coffin, saying it brought back memories of his mother's death 25 years ago. Buckingham Palace has revealed more details about the Queen's State funeral on Monday. The service at Westminster Abbey will begin at 11 in the morning and will be followed by a national two-minute silence. Tens of thousands of people are waiting for their turn to pay their respects to Queen Elizabeth at Westminster Hall, where she is lying in state. Some people have waited for more than eight hours to get inside the hall, where the closed coffin is being guarded by soldiers from units that serve the royal household. The queuing will continue 24 hours a day until early on Monday morning. As soon as I heard of her passing, it just I felt, you know, the right thing to do would be to come and pay my respects. I know she has done a lot for this country and, you know, mm -hmm just be the right thing to do. Did you think she deserved it? Is, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she deserves definitely the best send off she can get. Yeah. yeah. In other news, the National Police in Ukraine say that they have found evidence of mass graves around the recently liberated city of Izium, which had been under Russian occupation for five months. Speaking to the BBC, the police chief for the Kharkiv region said that more than 400 bodies were thought to have been buried in the northeastern city. And the world of tennis has been reacting to the news that one of the all-time greats, Roger Federer, has announced he will retire at the end of the month. The 20-time Grand Slam champion has not played since Wimbledon last year, after which he had a third knee operation. He'll quit after the Labour Cup in London a little later this month. Those are the headlines.